The Terror Television. But it's not just any episode of The Terror Television. It is our 50th episode, or so Jason tells me. I don't know, we just keep making the damn things and y'all keep showing up, so thank you. 50 times? Let's get right to it. Evil Dead Rise is now in theaters, and we've also got Evil Dead Rise interviews over on the website. We've got director Lee Cronin and stars Alyssa Sutherland and Lily Sullivan. Say that five times fast. I was in charge of the newsletter this week, so to honor Sullivan and Sutherland and their on-screen sisterly bond in Evil Dead Rise, this week's crossword is dedicated to Horror Sisters. We've also got a fun interview with Freddie Prinze Jr. breaking down his new podcast, That Was Pretty Scary, talking a bit about I Know What You Did Last Summer, all things Kevin Williamson, and a little bit of Scooby-Doo. We are almost to the end of April, and do you know what that means? We are nearly halfway to Halloween to celebrate the Belay Brothers halfway to Halloween TV special, special, special hit shutter on Tuesday. Drac and Swan are currently on tour, but they took a little time to stop by and chat with us about their upcoming special and a little bit of Blumhouse news, very secretive. Hmm. Speaking of Blumhouse, segue. Blumhouse is doing a Speak No Evil remake with James McAvoy. Very curious to see how that pans out because the original Speak No Evil is not really what I would call a movie for mainstream audiences. I'm not saying I didn't like it because I did. I fucking dug it, but there's very specific people that I recommended that movie to. But I'm curious to see what Blumhouse does with Speak No Evil. Lots of trailers dropped on the site this week. We got The Boogeyman, Insidious, The Red Door, taking us further into the further than we've ever gone before. And the final trailer for video game Dead Island 2. We've got new Cronenberg coming our way. David, not Brandon, with The Shrouds, with new casting news that just dropped this week. The Tribeca Film Festival dropped their lineup this week, and it includes Joe Lynch, Barbara Crampton, and Heather Graham's H.P. Lovecraft adaptation, Suitable Flesh. I think there was probably a more concise way that I could have said that. <laughs> but we're going to go with it. That was a mouthful, baby. Suitable Flesh, we're looking forward to it. Our new issue, issue 19, is now on newsstands. That's the Renfield cover, baby. That glare. You can't see shit, can you? There you go. Okay. Oh, oh, Renfield cover is now on newsstands, issue number 19. You can find that at your local Barnes & Noble and local comic shop. The Chainsaw Awards are coming! Echo effect. Earthquake. Yay. We've got brand new Chainsaw Awards merch ready and waiting in the shop for you to show your chainsaw love. Oh, look at that fancy pin. I need to put it on my jacket. I've held it preserved to show off to y'all. We've also got that DIY chainsaw shirt so you can write in your picks. I would love to see who you're voting for, who you voted for. Voting's over. I would love to see your picks. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Chainsaw effect. <laughs> I just want to thank all of you creeps for sticking with us for 50 episodes. That's wild and very exciting. So thank you. That's very cool of you. We thought like just our moms were probably going to watch this. Um, but now I guess you are watching this too. And that's pretty cool. So thanks. If you're not signed up for the Terror Teletype or if you don't know what the Terror Teletype is, it's basically a mini fango for free in your email every week. This week, I took it over, so you're getting double doses of me, and for that I apologize. But normally, it's Phil in your inbox all up in there every week, so sign up for that if you're not already. If you are signed up, hi, I'll see you in your inbox and here, because I'm doing both this week. You can't escape me. All right, that's all I got. Have a beautiful weekend, a wonderful week, and I will catch you next week for episode 51 of The Tarot The behind the scenes of the